what I always say, Lily. The tunnel! Got it! Oh, ah, I lost him. And I was going to have that squash for my lunch. Here we are. The perfect spot for a nice, wormy lunch. Mm, lovely fresh worms. <laughs> oh, no! No! My lunch! Morning! <laughs> you clumsy bunny brats! Stop my lunch! Thought you could mess up uh, my worm uh, catching and get away uh, with it, did you? Uh, yes. Wait! If it was worms you wanted, well, why didn't you just say so? Because you just happened to be looking at the woods' number one worm catchers. Huh? Where? <laughs> Us, you silly. <laughs> I mean, big. Not at all, ugly badger. Sometimes we can catch worms in our sleep. Sometimes we catch so many worms, we don't even know what to do with them. Mm, yeah, right. Worms, they're so wriggly. So you let Benjamin go, and we'll fill this bucket with worms. Deal? Huh. I'll tell you what, fill that bucket with worms, and then I'll let your friend go. <sighs> and be back by lunchtime when the sun's at its highest. Or else. <laughs> Look out, worms. Here we come. Look out, worms. Here we come. Peter, we've never caught a worm in our lives. True, true. But, well, there's a first time for everything. But a whole bucket load? By lunchtime, Benjamin's really in trouble. He's not in trouble. Because we can do this. Watch! See? Oh, slippery little things, aren't they? <laughs> You're grabbing at them too fast. Here, let me try. <sighs> Maybe we need a deeper hole. Ouch! <sighs> Not a single worm. Benjamin's in so much trouble. <laughs> Here, while we're waiting, make yourself useful and give <clears throat> these a polish. <sighs> Hurry, Peter. Nobody move. We're being followed. Are you sure, Peter? Positive. Followed by what? A fox? No, not a fox. Then what? <gasps> <laughs> What's following us? Peter! <laughs> a little sister who won't stay home. I knew it was cut and tail all along. I just wanted to, um, practice my diving. <laughs> How did she creep up on us like that? She's super sneaky. Runs in the family. Peter, play peekaboo. Sorry, Cottontail. Can't play peekaboo right now. We're on an extra dangerous adventure. We are? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> We've completely run out of radishes. Hungry. You'd better run home, Cottontail, before anything dangerous comes our way. <gasps> um, something dangerous is already coming our way. Uh, uh... Quick, hide! <laughs> Well, 
Mr. McGregor. in that basket. <sighs> I wonder where Mr McGregor is going. Who cares where he's going? The important thing is he's gone and that means... Of course! Of course what? No, no one, one is guarding his garden! garden. Up to an adventure's on the way. Play, rabbit, play. Across the fields, come on now, what do you say? The sun is blazing, and life's amazing, and everything is fresh and new. Play, rabbit, play. Embrace the day. There's a whole wide world just waiting there. Amazing. Uh, oops. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Mr. McGregor would go away every day. Me too. Maybe we should be stocking up on food while we can. Lily's right. We could feed all our families for a week if we get enough food. Make four piles. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Let's hop to it. Keep digging! Faster! Yes! <gasps> Is the plum really as juicy as you say? Imagine the juiciest plum in the world, and then imagine one even juicier! What are you doing, Benjamin? I was imagining the juiciest plum in the whole world. Come on! Oh no! We'll never get through that! Never say never! Well, there are some nice, easy to reach cabbages over there. We didn't come to Mr. McGregor's garden for cabbages, we came for the last plum. <laughs> <laughs> about Annette? Well, I, I have this friend who wants to get a plum from Mr. McGregor's garden. I see. But the tree has a fence around it and a ditch. And don't forget the net. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what would you tell my friend about how to get past all that stuff? Your friend, huh? I would tell your friend not to try something so dangerous. Right. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, well. She doesn't really know about stuff like that. She's just a mum after all. <laughs> just a mum, am I? Fence vaulting pole. Check. Ditch climbing rope. Check. Right. Juicy plum, here we come. Help? Huh? 
Thanks. Oh, I can't wait to take a big, juicy bite of... <gasps> the plum! It's gone! Ah! Come back here with my plum! Thief! You mean my plum? Look at that! Whoever stole it was very clever. Let's catch that thief! Then we can snatch a plum from him. Uh, catch a thief? Uh, that sounds fun. <laughs> I'd certainly like to know who it was. Hmm. Hmm. Come on then, hop to it! He must have gone that way. Let's go. That way. Do you hear that? I see him. Oof. Huh? It's not real. A decoy. Wow, this plum thief is so clever. I wish I knew who he was. Me too. But we'll never find out unless we catch him. We can cover more ground if we split up. Let's go. <gasps> Benjamin, I said split up. You didn't say how far. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> You can wake up a badger and get away with it! Where am I? Oh. Hi, Dad. Lily Bobtail, do you know what time it is? Dinner's been on the table for half an hour. Badger. No, Warren. We're having carrots and celery. Ah, I mean, I smell badger. Lily? All right. Maybe I was chased by Tommy Brock. Oh. But I got away. I'm fine. That does it. This valley is just too dangerous. I said if there was one more scrape like this, one more brush with badgers or foxes or owls, we were leaving. But... Ah, no buts. My mind is made up. We're moving. But how can we be friends if you move away? I know, Benjamin. But my parents don't think I'm safe here. Maybe I can come and visit. Well, I think it's rotten. What about you, Peter? What we need is a picnic. Peter, how can you even think about food at a time like this? I'm moving away. Listen. We'll have a picnic and invite your mum and dad. And show them this is the safest place in the world. Aren't you forgetting something? It's never safe with Tommy Brock and Mr Todd and Old Brown around. We just have to make sure they don't show up to our picnic. Come on, let's hop to it. Yeah! <laughs> Time to lose, you best be on your way Ooh. Ooh. Off you go Cause you can't afford to fail today Proceed with care, think fast and stay aware And you'll succeed at what you're trying to do So off you go And you should know The golden reach is waiting there for you And chimney blocked. Check. Open up. Open the door. Ah. Now they're all locked up inside. Oh, uh, it's time for a completely safe picnic with your mum and dad. Yes. Keep your eyes closed. Keep them closed. Now open them. <gasps> Ta-da! Ah. <laughs> 
just the day for a nice, relaxing, never dangerous, totally safe picnic, wouldn't you say, Benjamin? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, safe. A picnic? You mean outdoors? <laughs> um, well, maybe we should take it indoors where it's safer. But, Dad, picnics are for outside. I know that for a fact. Uh, 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 picnics are Lily's favourite, Dr Bobtail. And we'll never get to do it again. Not if she's moving. <sighs> there, there, Benjamin. You must be brave. For Lily's sake. Let's do it for Lily. She wants to spend time with her friends before the move. Please, Dad? Well, uh, as long as we're quick. No need to be quick. Just wait till you see how safe it is. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Bed. But it's not just an old bed, Benjamin. It's a bed made by my dad. That's his paw print. Look. Uh-oh. What are we going to do, Peter? Uh, we're going to find out where this branch came from. Then we're going to fix my bed. That's it, Florence. Take a good look. Now... Fly, Florence. Go and find where this branch came from. Oh. Sorry. Guess she's tired. Uh, can you tell what kind of tree it's from, Lily? I really need it so I can repair my bed. Uh, hmm. Well, it's bendy, but it's really strong too. You must have been bouncing really hard. Yeah, I'm a pretty awesome bouncer. I'll have to check my samples. Hmm. Oak tree? Nope. Willow tree? No. Pine tree? No, not that one. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Aha! Of course! Cretaceous monogena. Excuse me? Uh, oh, 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 oh. It's the scientific name for the hawthorn. Bush. That's where the branches from your bed came from. It's the strongest kind of wood around here, and I know that for a fact. Great work, Lily! Let's get that wood! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Peter? Lily? Not too cold. And not too hot. I like rabbits in a pot. Oh no! M Mr. Todd's out for a walk. Don't worry. Just keep quiet while we get those hawthorn branches. I'm starting to see where this is called a hawthorn bush. Ah, it's thorny. Ow! <sighs> oh. Careful, Peter. You don't want to get spiked by one of those wah thorns. Hold on. There you go. Thanks, Lily. Ah. Ah, it's no use. I can't break it. We need something that can snap the branches. Hey! I think I saw something in my dad's workshop that might help. Wait here! Ah! Almost! Just a little bit more! Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Got it! That is a lot of blackberries! Uh. 
Get off my nose. Uh, what did you say to me, Brook? I said... Get off my nose! Sorry about that. Uh, Blackberry? Flopsy. Mother will be so happy. And even happier when she sees the scarf we're knitting her. Yes! Watch the floor! Oh! 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 Blackberries. Mmm. What a treat. Thank you, Peter. Look at our clean floor. What was our clean floor? That is a mess. But thank you, girls. I'm sure it was very clean. And shiny. Don't forget shiny. Well, since you all worked so hard, why don't I make your favourite mixed berry pie? Mixed berry pie? Really? Thanks, thanks Mum. Wow! <laughs> thanks, Mum! Yay! Pie! Let's see. Blackberries, strawberries. Oh, uh, I don't have any gooseberries. I'll go and get some. Ah! Mother, he did it again. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's not fair. We worked all morning cleaning that floor. But all Mother cares about are the berries. How hard could it have been for Peter to get some silly blackberries? Not hard at all. So how hard can it be to get some gooseberries? Easy peasy. Hmm. Gooseberries, gooseberries. I know I saw something in Dad's journal. Got it! A map to the very best gooseberry bush in the whole woods. Good old Dad. Where are you two going? To get some gooseberry. We're just going for a walk, aren't we, Mopsy? I thought we were going to show Mother we're just as good as Peter at berry picking. Shh! You getting gooseberries? And why not? Easy peasy. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Because that's where the sweetest, juiciest, most delicious gooseberries are. Sweetest? Juiciest? Most delicious. Then, then we're, we're coming, coming with you. With me? Yes. Here, Peter, hold this. Oh, and mine. Uh, what's in these things? You know our rule, Peter. Be prepared for anything. Uh, something tells me this is going to be a long day. One, two, three, <laughs> Whoa, how many pieces of Cottontail's birthday cake did you eat, Benjamin? Um, just one. But it was a really, really big one. If you've still got cake, why are we going on a vegetable raid? There's always room for more. <laughs> Get off me, you great oaf. Mind your mouth, Fox. No! Mind my tail, you bungling badger! No! Hey, you, you know who that sounds like? Oh, yeah. I wonder what they're up to. Let's go and see. Why don't you all be quiet? So I can think of a way out of this! Easier said than done! With a whiffy badger sitting on me. My jacket is ruined. Oh, and, and what were you flapping your flappers? They're called wings! Wings! Oh, give it a rest, all of you! How do you suppose they ended up out there? They're probably trying to catch us. But they got stuck instead! Ha! Big bad bullies stranded on a boat. Benjamin! What? They can't hurt us from way out there. Ah! 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 
My cake! Phew. <gasps> and that one's got cake. Old Brown, start flapping. Rock, Todd, steer the boat with your paws. <laughs> Hang on, oh, Benjamin! Oh, Robert's brave! Robert's brave! Flap faster! Flap, flap! <laughs> Ready? His tail feathers! They got away again! Should have left it to me. I'd have caught those rabbits. <laughs> you? You couldn't catch a cold. Oh, yeah? Well, I can catch a fox! Ow! Oh, so watch out, you blundering buffoon! <laughs> The only reason none of you has ever caught those rabbits is because you're too busy fighting amongst yourselves. But if we work together, you could be feasting on rabbit before the day is through. Rabbit stew at last. Mmm, with a morsel of squirrel, perhaps. Oh, yeah. And a nice juicy worm. Yeah. Say we agree to team up and get those rabbits. What's in it for you, Sammy Whiskers? Simple. I get the cake that little one's hiding under his hat. So, do we have a deal? I'm telling you, Peter, there's no such thing as a flying worm. But I just saw one. Shh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fisher. That's all right, young Peter Rabbit. Just believed you weren't a giant fish. <laughs> I feared I was a goner for a moment. Mr. Fisher, we need some worms for Tommy Brock. Fast! Oh, um, let's see. Well, this worm is my last piece of bait, but you're most welcome to it. It's a start. Ah! Oh. Oh. Hmm. I know. Your father always said there's only one place to go if you want to find worms. He did? Where? Let's hope your dad was right about worms being in Mr McGregor's garden. I know, but look, the sun's nearly at its highest. Benjamin's depending on us. Come on. What else can you do while we're waiting for your friends to come back? That is, if they come back. Oh, boring. Can't you liven it up a bit? Uh, okay. Whoa! Ow! Ouchie! Ow! <laughs> now that's what I call a show. <laughs> it's almost my lunchtime. I hope your friends are better at catching worms than you are at juggling. Um, <laughs> Peter and Lily are the best worm catchers in the whole woods. You'll see. They'll do it. We're never going to do it. A uh, good rabbit never gives up. Lily, look at this. It's a whopper. Uh, Peter? Uh, oh. Fooling. I can't catch worms. I'm a rabbit, not a, a, a bird. Stomp again. Huh? Maybe we should be birds. The stomping brings the worms out. I know that for a fact. Great idea. Off you go. No time to lose. You best be on your way. Proceed with care, think fast and stay aware And you'll succeed at what you're trying to do So off you go, and you should know <laughs> The golden reach is waiting there for you The sun's nearly at its highest Tommy Brock's lunch time Time to save Benjamin, let's go You know, it's almost a shame we were born rabbits Yeah, we'd have made some pretty great birds Aha! Uh -huh. Mr. Mr. Todd! Todd! 
Fresh young rabbits for lunch. What a splendid notion. Get back! Ugh! Worms? What's the matter? Radish stealing not going so well today? Uh, they're for someone else, actually. What a shame. You'll never get to deliver them. We've no choice. Use the worms. Ah, no! Oh, get, get them off! They're down my neck! <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> <laughs> that got rid of him. But it got rid of all the worms, too. Poor Benjamin. We've got to do something. Maybe there's something in my just-in-case pocket. Just in case. Acorn, envelope, spoon, mitten, ball of string. I don't see how this is going to... Wait a second. Lily, that's it. String! It looks just like a worm. Exactly. We'll still deliver the worms, just not the way Tommy Brock expected. Let's hop to it. Unusual. A song about food sung by food. <laughs> Woody, Woody, Queenie, Beanie. Woody, Woody, Queenie, Beanie. <gasps> oh, there, Cottontail. Again, again. <sighs> Maybe later. Queenie, Beanie. You've been great, Cottontail. But better leave it to us now, OK? <laughs> have we got enough? I hope so. If I have to dig up any more radishes, I might turn into one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr McGregor could be back at any second. Don't worry, Lily. We're safe. In fact, why don't we have some lunch? Words right out of my mouth. Mr. Todd! Never mind. There's plenty of other rabbits. Now, where are they? Excellent hiding, Lily. Oh. Uh, 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 I'm a little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. Uh, How considerate. Providing your own strawberry garnish. Ah! Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. No, stop that! Uh, ah, not on the tweed! Wait, we can't leave without Cottontail. Where'd she go? Peter? Oh, no! Somebody else tag along today, did they? Uh, you don't want my little sister, you want me! Peter, over here! Where are those rabbits hiding? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's no way we can all get past Mr. Todd. <gasps> We're trapped! A good rabbit never gives up! <gasps> Peter, look who's back! Yay! Kitty cat! No, Cottontail. Not yay. If the cat's back, that means Mr. McGregor's back too. 
and he's even more dangerous than a fox. I know that for a fact. Yes, that's it. We get Mr McGregor to scare off Mr Todd for us. That's right. We get Mr McGregor to... Wait, what? It's easy. We wake the cat, the cat alerts Mr McGregor. But how do we get close enough? We can't. But I bet someone small and super sneaky could get through that gap. Sorry, thought you were... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were... The, the plum, plum thief. thief. <laughs> oh, we we know. know. It's no good. We'll never catch up. That plum thief is just too clever and too fast. My dad always said a good rabbit never gives up. But I know what we need. A shortcut. Look, the plum thief will have to go down this valley up ahead and this shortcut leads to the far end of it. It's that path right there. And if we take it, we can be at the other end of the valley waiting for him when he gets there. So the thief will run right into us. That's brilliant. Yeah, let's go. Wait, right into us? What am I saying? Wait! Rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave. <sighs> are you sure this is a good idea? Yes. Of course you are. Shh! Just be quiet. Sorry, Tommy's hungry. Well, it won't be long before we're feasting on that sweet, juicy plum. And we finally find out who we've been chasing. He should be coming down the valley any minute now. <laughs> Squirrel Nutkin? <laughs> he's the plum thief? Must be. And look, he's got my plum. OK, Nutkin, oh. let's have it. Huh? I've got to hand it to you. It was pretty <laughs> impressive how you got through Mr McGregor's fence and ditch. And the net. Yes, and the net. And got to that plum. Plum? What plum? The one you're holding behind your back? Right there. Come on. What do you take me for? Some kind of... Nut? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, Nutkin. I was sure it was the plum. So if Nutkin's not the thief, then who is? Who? The thief. What thief? The plum thief. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't you say so? We, we did. did! That must be who I saw running out of the woods and onto the path back there. The path! But that's back in the other direction. Oh, it's no use, Peter. Oh, we'll never catch up now. Oh, those little troublemakers. Well, I don't know about you, poor flightless fools, but I'm going out the chimney. Oh, 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 tail feathers, it's been blocked. Oh, we're trapped. Well, if we're stuck in here, I reckon I'll have myself a snooze. Ooh. Oh, you clumsy oaf. My tea table. Tea table? What kind of hunter has a tea <laughs> table, I ask you? My best china. Both of you, stop it. You're wrecking the place. First my table, then my china. Why don't you just knock the walls down and be done with it? Hmm, not the walls, but perhaps the door. You're a squawking old feather duster. Feather duster, am I? Yes, you heard me. You couldn't peck your way out of a wet paper bag. And as for you, you smelly old carpet, you couldn't barge your way out of a balloon. Oh, wonderful. You are a strong pair of fellows. And now we're free. Free to get those rabbits. 
Mmm, these radishes are delicious, Peter. You know, I'm actually starting to relax and enjoy this picnic. And it's much more peaceful than I'd imagined. They like it here. The plan's working. That's right, Dr Bobtail. It's a beautiful, undangerous place. Look at the grass. Look at the trees. Look at the sky. And back to the grass again. Oh no, it's all brown. We've got to get my parents out of here. <laughs> Did anyone hear that? <laughs> I'm bored here. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Who's up for picking some blackberries? <laughs> uh, that sounds like a good idea. Yes, that does sound nice. What? Blackberries? Why would we want to get blackberries? <clears throat> oh, I get it. Ah, I know where there's some extra juicy blackberries. Come on, everyone. Uh, maybe we should stay here, Peter. I'm not sure it's safe elsewhere. Oh, I'd say it's even safer somewhere else. <gasps> Look at that. Before we came to this valley, we had to buy blackberries at the shop. And now, here they are, ripe for the taking. Oh, I do like this place. Having fun, dears? Uh, yes! Oh, rabbits hiding. <gasps> oh, no! It's Mr. Todd and Brock, too. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Think, Peter, think! Got it! We get them to chase us over there, where Lily's mum and dad won't see them. Let's hop to it. We can't catch us. Peter Rabbit. Let's see. We're here, and the gooseberries are all the way over there. So, it'll be a long walk. Mopsy, I think that's a primrose. It's so pretty. I'm going to draw a picture of it. Pencils, pencils. Aha! Knitting? <laughs> You're not going to need your knitting. Remember our rule. Be prepared for anything. Y yes For escaping danger, not knitting emergency scarves. Uh, um, aren't you forgetting something? The gooseberries? We know. All right, then. The map says we need to go through there. <gasps> ah, wet, rocky terrain. Mud everywhere. It could be messy. Maybe you two just want to go home. A little mess doesn't bother us, does it, Mopsy? Didn't Father always say a good rabbit never gives up? Well, we're not giving up, no. <sighs> Come on, then. Follow me. Behind your ear. Oh, get it off, get it off. <gasps> the 
Look, what did that secret tunnels? We can go through there. No way. Looks scary. Ah, a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the faintest hint of a breeze in the air, and the <laughs> fragrant whiff of rabbit. Well, well, three little pie-sized rabbits. Ah, oh, my dear, you've already seasoned yourself with a little nettle. How thoughtful and delicious. Leave my sisters alone. And why should I do that? Because you never fit three rabbits in a pie. Everyone knows that. See? Peter? Well, a fox mustn't be greedy much. Maybe I'll start with a Peter Rabbit pie. One more step. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. I, I promise not to eat you. <laughs> much. Now that we've lost them, let's do this. Ah, blasted wheelbarrow. Always breaking. Mr. McGregor's gone inside. And those cucumbers look delicious. Mm. Benjamin! <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the salad course. Then let's hop to it. <laughs> yes! Catch! Got it! <laughs> 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 Just where do you think you're going? Run! Go! One of my dad's emergency escape tunnels! Ah! 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 This hole's closed! <laughs> Over the wall! Follow me! Oh, not so fast! Ah! Ah! What's that last step? <laughs> <laughs> what are they all doing here? They must have followed us. Can't get out through the gate. Or the tunnel. <laughs> or over the wall. Then the, that means we're... Trapped. <laughs> and we're better to trap you than in Mr McGregor's garden. You'll never find a way out of here. <laughs> Sammy Whiskers, what are you doing? You don't hunt rabbits. <laughs> Only rabbits that have cake. No, it's my cake. Oh, I hope it didn't squash it. Right, team, closing. <laughs> huh? I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, Peter. Neither do I. But a good rabbit never gives up. Don't let them eat my cake. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, whistle as loud as you can. Quick. Uh, OK. <laughs> Oh. 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 Go, go, go! <laughs> ha! You thought some loud whistle would stop us? That really takes the cake. And so do I. Get them! <laughs> What's all that whistling, Mr. Mr. McGregor? McGregor. Oh. Hide! Look at them run! Oh, wow, that was such a clever plan, Peter. I didn't know why he wanted me to whistle at first, but... Then I did whistle, and that brought out Mr. McGregor, and Sammy Whiskers was like, ah, run away! <laughs> Genius. Uh, I'll stop talking now. Good, because there's still one tiny little problem. Robert! <gasps> Any 
pine cone. Oh, why should I? Ah. Whoa! Uh, not a magic fan? Uh, no problem. How about singing? I'm pretty good at that. La, 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 la! Oh, enough! Whoa. Your friends are coming back. And if I'm not going to have my worms, then at least I can have... I can have... I know. Some nice new fluffy slippers. Uh, uh, oh, of course. Why didn't you say? I'll just run to the shop and... Uh, uh, I'm the slippers, aren't I? Anyone for worms? Oh, I don't believe it. Please believe it. Give him here. No way. You let the... Benjamin go first. But... That was the deal. Oh, all right, all right. He'd hardly make one decent Ooh. slipper anyway. Now, put the bucket down and get out of here. I like to eat alone. Lunch for one. Coming right up. See you around, Tommy Brock. <laughs> Where are you, you fluffy little... Huh? Tommy Brock? Where did you get that bucket? Made the rabbits collect worms for me. And you think you're clever. <laughs> oh, you nincompoop. Those aren't worms. It's string. You've been tricked. String, eh? <laughs> nice try. But you can't fool me. Those are worms. Now give them back. Aha! Rabbits. Oh, think you can spill my lunch and get away with it? Come back here, Mr. Todd! No! <gasps> so, you tricked a brainless badger out of his lunch. Well, nothing gets in the way of my lunch. You spilled my lunch. Time to get them paws dirty, Mr. Todd, and dig me up some worms to eat. Oh, confounded worms. This is impossible. <laughs> Oi! Less chat and more worm catching, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Todd, try acting like a bird. It really helps. <laughs> <laughs> Want to play peekaboo with a kitty cat, Cottontail? She's doing it! She's doing it! Uh-oh! I smell rabbit. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, uh, you're pretty stinky yourself. <laughs> it seems our little game of hide-and-seek is over. Yeah, but Cottontail's game of peekaboo is about to start. Let me explain a little something about the natural order, young Peter. Rabbits are scared of foxes. Fact! That's true, Mr. Todd. What's the problem, Pat? But then foxes are scared of angry gardeners. Fact! Oh, what angry gardener? <laughs> oh, Mr. McGregor, stop there, you wee thieves! <laughs> <laughs> McGregor? Yep. Lucky for us, he's better at growing than he is at throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdy, fruity, greeny, beanie. Let's go home. Looks like we're having a feast tonight. Who's hungry? Roots, fruits, greens and beans. 
Peter Rabbit. A clue. Peter, wait. <laughs> gotcha. <gasps> well, well. What have we here? But. You can't be the plum thief. Plum? What would I want with some measly fruit when I can have a delicious rabbit sandwich? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, make that an extra large rabbit pie. <gasps> what a joke! Get it back! Huh? Could that be another one? It's my lucky day. I'll have enough for a full-blown rabbit stew. There's a chance! Go! Come back here, you little... Oh, who did that? What happened? It must have been the plum thief. He saved us. Wow, he's clever, fast and brave. And he's gone. Now we'll never find out who he is. It's getting late. Can we please go home now? Benjamin's right. I know. I just really wanted that plum. We can always try to find the thief and get that plum tomorrow. And if anyone can find someone who needs finding, it's Peter Rabbit. I suppose. Is everything all right, Peter? Yes, uh, maybe. Uh, not really. Remember that friend I told you about who wanted to get that plum from Mr McGregor's tree? It was me. You? Really? I'm sorry, Mum. I went back to get it, but someone really fast, really clever and really brave got there first. Now I'll never know who the thief was and I'll never get to eat that plum. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Never say never, Peter Rabbit. <gasps> Plum pie? Yum! But wait a minute. Fast, clever, brave? You? It was you all along? <laughs> it's best if you eat it while it's still warm. Good? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm hmm It's for getting the high ones down. Come back here, you terrible, tiny, little, trouble-making tricks dancer! Look! One of my dad's secret escape tunnels! Quick! Through here! Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Sounds like they're having as much fun as we are. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Peter! A good rabbit never gives up! Oh no! Where's he gone? He's probably working on a brilliant escape plan. We just have Peter, to... Peter! Come back! <laughs> Stay quiet. Ah! Rock, make yourself useful. Go in and get them. But it's all prickly. I don't like pricklies. I've had enough of you ordering us around, you pompous pumpkin. Do it yourself. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> don't you, you, you that hopeless, hopeless I'm first. Still fighting? Uh, well, well. Peter Rabbit. Peter! Finally, we've got you where we want you. Right. Three against one. You've run rings around us for the last time. We'll see about that. Squirrel rope. Such handy stuff for running rings. Take it away, boys. Hey. <laughs> 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 
been gone a while. Wait a second. What's that I smell? Uh, mm. It's blackberries. <laughs> we pick plenty for everyone. You were right, Peter. They're the best blackberries I've ever tasted. Yes, indeed. It really is a beautiful valley. Why would we ever want to leave? We're staying? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're staying. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! 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 <laughs> On one condition. We have picnics more often. <gasps> more picnics? No! <laughs> Peter no! Rabbit, come back here and untie us. <laughs> Peter, I'm not sure this is going to work. We broke the bed by bouncing too much. Maybe we can break this branch the same way. One, two, three. Oh, no! <laughs> Peter, are you all right? Just enjoying the view, Lily. <laughs> hey, I can see Benjamin. He's coming back. Whoa! <laughs> Almost squashed us. Yeah. I mean, what do you think of my dad's branch breaker? He uses it to collect wood for the fire, and we could use it to snap the branches. Great idea, Benjamin. How does it work? Well, he told me, but um, I kind of forgot. That's okay. We can figure it out. Let's hop to it. Branch ready. Left a bit. <laughs> right a bit. <laughs> yes. Branch breaker ready. Yeah. Ta da! Huh. Now I remember. Dad said don't let go. The branch is too strong. A good rabbit never gives up. Keep going, it's working. It's working very loudly. Hmm? What's all that hullabaloo? One more turn and we can get the brush we need to fix my bed! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> we did it! Yes! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I can't believe it works! I mean, I knew it would, but... <laughs> Mr. Todd! Todd! Peter Rabbit and friends, what a delightful picnic spot you found. Actually, Mr. Todd, we're not having a picnic. Oh, but I am. And the main dish is rabbit. Ah! Oh? Rabbit are brave. Rabbit are brave. Uh, Don't worry, Benjamin. We'll get out of this somehow. I'll lead him away. You two make a run for the burrow. What? Hey, come back here. <laughs> Catch me if you can, Mr. Todd. Ah, stay still, you wriggly little. Ow! C come here. Ow! Oof! Oh, pesky thorns. Oh, my poor back. There must be an easier way to catch a rabbit. Hmm. And there it is. You can run, but you can't hide. Mr. Todd? Where'd he go? Oh, no! Ah!
Mr. Todd will catch us now. No, we mean you found the gooseberry bush. Mm, these are the sweetest, juiciest, most delicious berries in the woods. Well done, Peter. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Couldn't have done it without your map. <laughs> 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 See, Peter, that's what comes from being prepared. You didn't need your knitting, though, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you could leave me in a home, huh? Hey! Stay away from my sisters! <laughs> uh, Gooseberry? Oh! Why not? It would sweeten up my rabbits. Uh, <laughs> um, a little help? <gasps> Don't worry, Peter. We'll save you. Yes, it's a good thing we've got our knitting. Knitting? This time. <laughs> Yay! Yes, of berries! Oh, this is wonderful! Blackberries, strawberries, and Peter's gooseberries. What a delicious pie we'll have now! Thank you, Peter. Actually, I couldn't have done it without Flopsy and Mopsy. Then well done, Peter. And well done, Flopsy and Mopsy. <laughs> Looks like this floor could do with another clean. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. Show yourselves, Robert! It's no use. Even if we keep hiding from Mr. McGregor, we can't get out of the garden. Not if every way out is blocked by someone who wants to eat us. Then we'll just have to get them to move, won't we? This is bad. This is very bad. Just be ready to trap them under here when I lead them to you. OK, Peter. Wait, did he just say, lead them to us? Oh, a worm! Mmm. No. Getting hungry? No. Yes. Maybe. What's it to you? Oh, I was just thinking what a shame it is that when Mr McGregor catches us, he won't get to eat us. Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. And rabbits go so well with worms, too. Oh, a nice, big, juicy one. Give it here. You want it? Come and get it. <laughs> Brock, where are you going? Stop him. He's going to eat us. Get you off. We're supposed to share those rabbits. No, 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 Todd! What are you doing? We're a team, remember? Hey, save some rabbit for me! First for... No! Peter's playing a trick on you! You nincompoops! Here comes Peter! <laughs> and everyone else! No <laughs> elbows! Try to wonder it! Rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave. Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. What? Oh, 
if he was gift rat. Maybe we should try hunting a rat instead. Mm. No, uh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd better run. <laughs> I think I smell <laughs> rat. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like nearly getting eaten to work up an appetite. I'm hungry. Uh, too bad we didn't get any vegetables. Aren't you forgetting something? <sighs> yes! Ah, <sighs> want any? Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I prefer cake that hasn't been sitting under a hat all day. Fine by me! <laughs> Yum! Ready? Say it now. Oh, do we have to? Go on, it's amazing, I promise. Looks like rain, Benjamin. Looks like rain, Benjamin. Rain, you say? Then it's time for my dad's latest amazing adventure. Whoa! Oh, Frederick's Beef Bouncer's sensational crap! Benjamin! Size, heat, uh, pop up, ah, umbrella. There. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> It's very big, yet surprisingly small. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Fold it up, it's tiny. Then, when it rains, all you have to do is click the button like this and... Whoa! Whoa! Benjamin! I'm OK. Go! Peter Rabbit, you almost sent me flying! Sorry, Mrs. Puddle Duck. My poor, poor nerves. Oh, a shock like that could. <laughs> Whack! Oh, my! Benjamin! <laughs> oh! Are you all right? Oh. oh, no, I'm not. You've made me late, and I must, must, must get to Ginger and Pickle's shop before it closes, or there'll be no oatmeal for breakfast. Mrs. Puddle Duck, you forgot your egg. Oh! Oh, me. So I did. But, oh, I'll never make it in time carrying this the whole way. Don't worry. We'll watch your egg for you. It's the least we can do. Gosh, how kind. Well, thank you, Peter Rabbit. Do be careful now. Choppity chop, off to the shop. Wow, that was so nice of you, Peter. Here, let me help. I'm great at egg sitting. Don't worry, it's in safe hands. <gasps> <Whoa! laughs> ah, I suppose I should do it. After all, exiting is a very important job. I'm the best one to handle it. For your information, Lily, I'm very good at important jobs. You? Yes, me. OK, but you'll need to be alert and patient and very careful. All right, Lily, I don't need a list. But what you do need is my dad's pop-up umbrella to keep the egg dry, just in case it rains. Benjamin, it's not going to rain. Lily, come in now. Looks like rain. Coming, Mother. I have to go. Let me know if you need any help. I won't need help, and don't worry. Help! <laughs> I've been looking after an egg. What's the big deal? All you have to do is sit and... <laughs> do you hear that? <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's silly me. The egg. <laughs> Pinecone bowling? My favourite game! <laughs> hey, Nutkin! Count me in! But, Peter, the egg! Don't worry. It'll be fine. Stay... Good egg. Hey, Peter, old pal. Come to get a bowling lesson from the master, eh? I'm talking about me. Mmm, mm, mm, tastes good. 
Ah, reserve crab apple. <laughs> Let's bowl. <gasps> oh, life's without a care when spring is in the air. Look, Florence, the first butterfly of the year. That means spring has arrived. Some nice juicy muffins, Whoa. not throwing them around like that. Uh, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> okay, okay, you win. Mm. Yeah, woohoo! Yeah, I love berry battles in spring. Where'd you get the helmet from, anyway? Oh, I just sort of borrowed it. Oh, Benjamin, you two haven't been playing with my mixing bowl, have you? Mixing bowl? Um, I no. think we just should go and see what Lily's doing, don't you, Benjamin? All right, but if you find it, I'm trying to make more strawberry muffins. Oh, did somebody say muffins? <laughs> oh. hmm. Peter, when you borrowed the bowl, did you remember to ask your mum? Uh, not exactly. No. Uh oh. Maybe we should just give it back. I like the sound of those muffins. Yeah, I suppose so. Come on, let's go and find that bowl. Uh, excuse me, madam. I, I was just passing through when I stumbled upon this mixing bowl. And I thought such a nice bowl could only have come from a handsome burrow like this one. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Wherever did you find it? Oh, well, no, I don't want to tell tales, but I did see a couple of mischievous <gasps> young rabbits playing around with it in the woods. Did one of them have a blue jacket, by any chance? Ah, hmm. Well, yes, now that I think of it, yes, he did. That's my Peter, always borrowing things without asking. Well, I'm very grateful to you, Mr... Um... Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the name is Whiskers. Samuel, Jeremiah, Bartholomew, Edmund, Cornelius Whiskers. Oh, but my friends call me Sammy. Thank you, Mr Whiskers. Uh, Sammy. I don't believe we've seen you round here before. Uh, no, Mum. I'm new to these here parts. Well, thanks again. Um. <clears throat> Sorry? Was there something else? Is that uh, muffins, I smell? Well, yes. <gasps> oh, silly me. You should have a reward for finding the bowl. Oh, that's what I'd hoped you'd say. Uh, um, I, um, if you insist. Uh, how many have you got? My goodness, you are hungry. 
<laughs> what better way to celebrate the arrival of spring than with... <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet muffin. <laughs> oh, five. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> I smell a rat. He is a rat. I know, but something's not right. And so all we have to do is crawl in through the vent here, sneak along the onions and ta-da! We're in Mr McGregor's strawberry patch with millions and squillions of the biggest berries you've ever seen. I have to admit, Benjamin, that's a pretty good plan. It should be. I've been working on it for three whole nights. All those strawberries. It's too good to be true. I say let's do it. And I say, since it's Benjamin's plan, he should be leader. Yes, I should be leader. Wait, what? No, I can't. I mean, I can, but I can't, but... No buts, Benjamin. You'll be great. Hmm, yeah. You're right. I will be great. Uh, achoo! Excuse me. <laughs> that was really sweet of you, Peter. Do you think he can handle it? It's just an easy strawberry raid. What could possibly go wrong? Just like on my map. So what do we do, boss? Let's hop to it. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> I think I'll say it again. Let's hop to... OK, OK. Leaders first. <laughs> um, maybe if I go feet first? <sighs> no. Arms? No. I know. Sideways? No. Wait! Backwards and sideways at the same time! <coughs> hey, look! Uh, no. One of my dad's secret tunnels. We could get in that way. Let's go! Wait! Give Benjamin a chance, Peter. You said he's the leader today, remember? Uh, yeah, but this tunnel's much wider and... This way. Do you think Mr. McGregor heard us? Let's hope not, or he'll put us in a pie for sure. Can I just say that I think my strawberry raid plan is going really, really well. out in the open. But we want those strawberries, don't we? Besides, Benjamin seems to know where he's going. Then we go this way. Oh, no! <gasps> hmm. I wonder if this is right. What? Hey! What's going on over here? Oh, my poor wee beans. I just put these up as well. Where's my spade? Ta-da! The hat's a clever disguise, huh? Wasn't part of my plan, but I just went with it. Hey, I know what went wrong. <laughs> I had my map upside down. Ah, we're supposed to go this way, around the radishes. But maybe it would be easier if we just cut straight through the radishes? Come on, let's give him a chance. He's got it under control. Uh, 
I'm doing, you ridiculous rabbit. I'm hunting. What? Strawberries? No. You. Oh, my paw. You want to watch out for that fencing. It's tricky. <gasps> Mr McGregor. Well, it's been nice talking with you, Mr Todd, but I'm afraid I've got to hop to it. Wait, Peter, don't leave me. Mr McGregor hates foxes. I'll be stuffed and put on the mantelpiece for sure. Your... your father wouldn't let a fellow creature out here. What did you say? I said your father wouldn't have left me out here. He'd have helped. I can't believe I'm even thinking of helping Mr Todd. If I help you, do you promise you won't try to catch me? No, but I'll give you a head start. All right, all right. Rabbit is off my menu for good. Fox's honour. Just get me out of here. Hurry! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Silly rabbit, never turn your back on a fox. Ouch! My paw! Shh! If you want to get out of here, you've got to be quiet. Come on! What's going on over here? Oh no! Gotcha! I know you're in here somewhere, you thieves! Ow! Oh. Oh. It's a dead end, you foolish rabbit! You say dead end, I say clever escape route. Look! Even a one-legged fox should be able to climb up there and over the wall. Oh. Oh. Huh. You could say thank you. Say thank you to a rabbit. Ha. I'd rather eat this cane here. Whoa! Oh, oh. Ouch! Oh. <sighs> McGregor! You've got to help me find another way out of here. Please, if, if you do, I'll... I'll, um... Uh, I, I'll give you all the vegetables in my kitchen. Come back here, rabbits! All of them? OK, fine. But follow me and stay low. The only vegetables you're going to see are the ones cooking with you in my pot. Come back here! Wait, wait! Not, not, not so fast! Ouch! Wait! Just keep up, Mr. Todd, or I'll end up in a pie and you'll end up as a fur hat. Stop! Thief! Come back here, you nutty you <laughs> Open up! Open up! Nutkin? Where is he? I know he's in there! I don't know what you're talking about! Tail feathers! You've got that sneaky squirrel in there! Hide me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nutkin! Oh. Help me! Hide me! Oh. Oh. Nutkin! Hide me! Help me! Oh, Nutkin! Oh. Why is old Brown after you? 
Well, I might have uh, kind of um, sort of um, taken his eyeglasses. What? Why in the world would you take Old Brown's glasses? Because uh, they were there. Whoa. Well, now you'd better give them back. Uh. Oh, I would. I gladly would. But you see, I've sort of kind of lost them. <gasps> oh, no! Not to worry. I'll just stay here. How about I whip us up some lunch? I'm not sure this is the best place for a squirrel. <gasps> but we can't just throw him out. It's too dangerous. Then we'll just have to help Nutkin find out where he left Old Brown's glasses so he can give them back. But we can't go outside. That mean old owl is still there. And he's angry. Maybe we can trick our way past the old bird. Trick? Oh, I love tricks. Shh. Listen, Old Brown. If you're looking for Nutkin, he went out the back door. He's gone. No, he's not. He's right here. Gone, is he? <laughs> Coast is clear. Let's hop to it. <laughs> Do you remember where you might have left the glasses, Nutkin? Um, ha! Well, uh, I was um, having a tea party uh, with Jeremy Fisher down by the lake. <gasps> God, is he? <gasps> I'll have your tail. You've got mine already? I'll have your ears then. Follow me, quick! You conniving criminals! Give me back my glasses! I think we lost old Brown. Thanks to one of Dad's good old secret tunnels. Here we are. This is where the party was. Just look what that squirrel did. Oh! Oh no! Not again! I remember! I went over here! Duh! Please stop! Oh! And then <laughs> I did this! <laughs> My good China! Oh! oh, oh. And this! <laughs> Not skin careful! Oh! No! No eyeglasses in there! Guess I. Lost them somewhere else. Maybe the farm. Oh, no. Oh, no, not my sardines. Got it. Got you. <gasps> Help me. Help me. Take cover. <gasps> it's just a bird. It's just a bird. <laughs> ah, it's a really big bird. Trapped like the bunch of bunny bandits you are. <gasps> <gasps> There's our escape tunnel, but it's too far away. Then we'll take the table to the tunnel. Come on, like this. <laughs> Not the silver. <laughs> oh, sorry rabbit. about your tea party, Mr. Fisher. Yeah, Squirrel. sorry. Not ten. <laughs> <laughs> What's that last step? You did it! We did it! Game on! Oh no! Oh, oh. Popping hazelnuts! Oh, Peter! <laughs> the egg! I'll get it! I'll get it! <laughs> <laughs> Snatch and catch! My bestest game idea ever! Oh. <laughs> no. 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 I knew you were going to catch it, Peter. Never a doubt in my mind. This time, I am not taking my eyes off this egg. Not for one second. Me neither. Uh, can I blink? <laughs> yes, you can blink. <laughs> Come on, we have to 
find the egg. Let's paint a face on it. A big pink face. No, I found it. It should be yellow. I saw it first. Stop it, Flopsy. <laughs> it's mine. Yes, you found it. OK, hand it over. No, we found it. And we're not giving it to you. <laughs> now what? Oh, Flopsy, no. Uh, Flopsy, Mopsy, if you give me the egg, Benjamin will stay here with you. And you can paint his face instead. That's right. Wait, what? OK, okay. I'll hand it over. No, I'll hand uh, it over. Uh, 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 <gasps> the egg, not again. Off you go, no time to lose, you best be on your way. <laughs> Off you go, cause you can't afford to fail today. Proceed with care, think fast and stay away. You'll succeed at what you're trying to do So off you go And you should know The golden reach is waiting there for you Oh no! It's heading for Mr Todd's lair! Oh, that can't be good! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, what a disaster! Oh, woe is me! No fodder, no grub, no tasty nibbles. Looks like another nourishing bowl of nothing for me tonight. <gasps> oh, pennies and petticoats. An egg and a fox's lair? What to do? What to do? Don't worry, Mrs Tiggywinkle. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. A good rabbit never gives up. Peter, you can't go in there. What about Mr. Todd? How very curious. Where did this toothsome titbit come from? Oh, drat. Who can that be? What's that? Who's there? Show yourself. Well, well. Peter Rabbit. What better way to follow a nice egg than with rabbit stew? Ah, this belongs to Mrs Puddle Duck, and you're not having egg or rabbit for dinner. No! Hey! Come back! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Safe and sound. Yeah, you did it! Oh. We'll get it! We'll get it! We'll get it. This time, no helmets, OK? And no sneaky rats ruining our game. News flash! Ha! Oh. Huh. Hi, Lily. You made me drop my berry. Never mind that. Jemima Puddle Duck has laid a new egg. Well, yes, it's springtime now. So? So? Mrs Puddle Duck is throwing a big spring party to celebrate. And we're in charge of inviting everyone. Yeah, a party could be fun. Games and music, cakes and treats. Now you're talking. I suppose we'd better work out who to invite. Already taken care of. I made a list. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hurry. Hmm. <laughs> cakes and treats, huh? <laughs> The rattle's just arrived. Ah, spring! The time for new arrivals, new beginnings, new customers. <laughs> Mrs. Bottle Duck, egg, spring party, cake. A party, you oh. say? Yes, at Hilltop Farm. Mrs. Puddle Duck's going to have a new duckling, you know. Then we must think of a gift we can bring. Yeah, what was that? Huh? <laughs> Where were we? Ah, a gift. I know, one of our brand new rattles. Huh? Huh? Oh, where did it go? Oh, gone. Hmm. But that's impossible. Oh. I just had them. Um, uh, could you by any chance have mislaid these? Ah, cat, cat! <laughs> no, don't worry. I don't eat rats. Vegan, you know. I only eat vegetables. And the occasional cake. 
Uh, um, ah, well, uh, yes, I, I, I found these outside. Outside? That's funny. Yes, and I wondered if such pleasing rattles could belong in this delightful fudge. Delightful. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> His name is Sammy Whiskers. <laughs> ah, right you are, young fella. <laughs> oh, uh, please accept some fudge as a small token of our thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. I'm telling you, that rat's up to no good. But he was just trying to help. Yeah, help himself. Forget Sammy Whiskers, you two. The quicker we get to the party, the quicker we get to have party food. Who do we invite next? Jeremy, Jeremy Fisher. Fisher. Come on, let's hop to it. <laughs> Listen to the flowers sing. I think it's the um dum de dum ding. Hmm. Sing, uh, sing. What rhymes with sing? Mr. Fisher, what's that? Jemima Puddle Duck has laid a new egg, so she's throwing a spring party to celebrate. Hmm. Spring! Spring rhymes with sing. Excellent! I shall bring the gift of song to the party. Yes, yes. <laughs> Peter, hand me my banjo. What? Uh, here you go. <laughs> I must rehearse, not a moment to lose. <gasps> Impossible! What's wrong? The strangest thing. My song has vanished. Ahem, ahem. Ah, uh, sorry to bother you, sir, but I couldn't help hearing you say you'd lost your song. You wouldn't by any chance be referring to this. <gasps> Wait! I found it just now, completely by chance, nearly blown clear away on the lake. My song! Oh, oh, <gasps> thank you, Mr... Whiskers. Whiskers! Sammy Whiskers! Oh, you are most welcome, sir. I... Ooh, is that shortbread? <laughs> Wait a second! Where did you really find that song? Manners, Peter. Mr Whiskers is a hero. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> uh... Wait. Why are you so jumpy today, Peter? It's that rat, Sammy Whiskers. Every time something goes missing, he just happens to be there. I think he's lucky. Every time he finds something, someone gives him a sweet treat as a reward. That's because it's a con. A plot. A scheme to get treats. Ah. Maybe we should try that. Stop worrying, Peter. We're going to go to the party and have fun. Oh, I can't wait till Mrs Puddle Duck's egg hatches. Come on. Hatches, hmm? <laughs> Imagine if something that precious went missing. Oh, think of the sweet reward I'll get when I find it. <laughs> oh, so exciting. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Well, Jemima dear, what's the latest? Do I hear the widdle waddle of duckling feet yet? Oh, not yet, Mrs. Tiggywinkle, but my egg will hatch soon. Oh, I just know it. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I really must check on my darling egg. Mr. Fisher is going to play some music, aren't you? Oh, we couldn't have asked for a lovelier day, could we? <laughs> I'm telling you, if one more thing goes missing oh. today... <gasps> oh! Oh, my egg has gone! Oh, <gasps> oh dear! Oh, dear! Oh, please, oh. try not to worry. Don't worry. Oh, dear. That rat took it. I told you, I've got to stop him. <laughs> you stay there, my beauty. Soon I'll pretend I found you and get my reward. <laughs> Aha! Caught you. You've been stealing things all along. Mrs. Puddle Duck's worried sick. Give me that egg back. Just get, get, get back, <gasps> you middling rabbit. Or else 
Uh, I'll hit this egg right now. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Fine. <laughs> I'll just go and tell everyone what you've been doing. No one will give you any cakes then. Get back here, you oh, No, no, he's going to blow my whole scheme. Aha. What do we have here? A duck egg for lunch? Yes, that will do nicely. Oh, don't fret, Jemima, my love. We'll find your egg before it even knows it's missing. You'll see. I know who took the egg. Who? Sammy Whiskers. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh. Ah, ah, I do like a bit of exercise. Yeah. Oh, one, two. Uh, uh, why, 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 uh, whatever's the matter? It's a little embarrassing, but Peter here says that you stole the egg. What? Me? A humble, lonely rat from the city just looking to make some new friends. I can prove it. He hid the egg over there. Follow me. Oh. 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 All right. Let's see. What? It... Oh, that little troublemaker doesn't give up. Come on. It's right over here. It was right here. I, I saw it. Oh, feathers and fur. This is a disaster. Mm, oh, looks like somebody has been making up stories. Hey, Peter says you took it, then you took it. Ha, huh, that's funny because I heard that if there's anyone around here who likes to take things without asking, it's Peter Rabbit. Is it true, Peter? Did you borrow Jemima's egg? No! Sammy Whiskers isn't telling the truth! Oh, come now, Peter. Just own up if you did it. No one will be angry. There's a good lad. You don't believe me? <laughs> there, 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 Mrs. Puddle Duck. I won't rest until I find your egg and bring it safely back home to you. Thank you, Mr. Whiskers. Thank you. <laughs> he is the finest, noblest rat I have ever met. Oh, you go. No time to lose. You best be on your way. Such our work. Uh, Benjamin, are you sure you know which way those strawberries are? I could show you. I know where they are. Psst. Right over there. Never say never, Benjamin. Look! <gasps> strawberries! <clears throat> I mean, strawberries. No big deal. I was just joking about that lost stuff, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan to get them? Ah, this is a really, really clever bit. We stay here. And Peter runs over there and gets the strawberries. Simple but effective. I like it. Hop to it! Yes, sir. <laughs> Strawberries, yum. I knew your plan would work, Benjamin. <gasps> Mama, Mr. McGregor. <gasps> oh, no! 
Peter! Peter, are you okay? I'm stuck. Come on, Benjamin. Let's lift. <laughs> it's too heavy. I know. Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. Uh, no. Uh, no. I really need to sort through my pocket one day. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Some leader I turned out to be. That's not true, Benjamin. Remember what my dad used to say? A good rabbit <gasps> never gives up. <gasps> never give up. Never give up. Stand your ground. You got no time to get away. You can't just This ought to do it. Ouch! Ouch! Ouch. Hmm, next Ouch. one. <laughs> oh, a little higher, or I'll be trapped in this garden forever. Oh, stop complaining. Very much. Wait a second. Why did you help me? I took no pleasure in it, believe me. But with my injured paw, I can't just hop over the wall. I still need your help to get me out of this accursed garden. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Todd. I should get going. No! You, you can't leave. Please, Peter, help me and I'll... I'll... Um, I... I'll show you where to find my secret blackberry bush. I already know where that is. You do? All right, then. I promise not to try and catch you while you eat them. <sighs> OK, Mr Todd. Follow me and try to keep up. Ha! Ah, won't try to catch you indeed. Foolish rabbit. Have I got a surprise in store for you? <laughs> Oh, sweet, sweet freedom! Whoa there, look! If you get me out of the garden, I promise I'll never chase you or any of your friends ever again. And don't forget all the vegetables in your kitchen. And the secret blackberry bush. Yes, yes, you can have it all. Fox's honour. Just get me out of here. OK. Wait here. <laughs> Fox's honour. <laughs> Not likely. I like rabbits in the pot. Potatoes, peas. Nice and hot. <laughs> Wait! You're going to have to be quick this time, Peter. Really quick. to it anyway. <laughs> OK, Nutkin, you said you might have left the eyeglasses at the farm. Where exactly? Florence! Oh! <laughs> Nutkin! Uh, Nutkin! 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 <laughs> 
what? Think! Where could you have left the glasses? Hmm. Mm. Let's split up and find them. Uh, uh, could, could they be over here? Don't think so. Here then? Nope. What about... Wait, were you actually at the farm today, Nutkin? <laughs> um, come to think of it. No. <laughs> Not oh! so far! Yeah! Go! Run round and round Run like you've never run before Catches you, you done so run some more. Your heart is pounding, those feet are sounding so close to you. What can you do? Oh, run, run, you better run. I'm certain we lost him this time, but for how long? Are you absolutely sure you were at Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's laundry today, Nutkin? <laughs> I'm absolutely sure I was here, I think. Almost certainly, maybe. Where are we again? <gasps> Keep that purple-footed squirrel away from my washing. Oh, they're not purple anymore, see? <laughs> they just need regular old dirty prints now. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. I see that you're just as filthy as ever. Oh, you know what they say. Clean feet make friends, dirty feet make a mess. Do they? Well, if they don't, they ought to. Wait, Mrs Tiggywinkle, we're looking for a pair of eyeglasses. Nutkin might have left them when he was here before. He didn't leave any glasses here, just some nasty purple paw prints. Good day to you. Well, that's it then. We're... Done for! <laughs> Tail feathers! I'll teach you a lesson. All of you! <laughs> oh no! He's going to get Benjamin! We have to save him! Wait, uh, what are you doing? I should never have led all of you into danger like this. Dear friends, if I don't make it, tell everyone I went out like a brave squirrel should with my tail... Uh -oh. Stump held high! If you don't make it... Nutkin, what do you mean? Nutkin! Meet Tacti, you can't catch me! <laughs> you! What have you done with my glasses? Catch me, and I'll tell you! <laughs> Nutkin made Old Brown chase him on purpose, so we could get away. We've got to find the glasses before it's too late. Where could those glasses be? Oh, Peter, we've looked everywhere. I know, but we can't just leave Nutkin with Old Brown right on his tracks. Tracks. Hmm. Tracks! <whistles> Maybe we didn't look everywhere. What could Nutkin have run through that would make him leave purple tracks? <gasps> Berries! Lily, you're a genius! Look! All the berries are squished! Nutkin's been here all right. They're not all squished. Benjamin! Uh, uh, sorry. Right, glasses. Glasses. Where could they...? Ah! Found them! Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> oh, tummy ache. Well done, Benjamin. Let's go. W wait! Where's he going? He's trying to get those glasses back to Old Brown. Follow Peter's purple tracks. You're not just a genius, you're also really smart. <laughs> I've got you now. Oh no. no. Find out what happens to naughty squirrels! Wait! Oh, my hero! My glasses! Yes, and Nutkin is very sorry he took them. Aren't you, Nutkin? Am I? I mean, yes, I am very sorry. If I give them back, will you leave Nutkin alone? 
Surrey's not good enough. Then go fetch! <laughs> Let's face it, without any more tracks to follow, the only way we'll find them is if they fall right out of the sky. <laughs> Got them! Oh, ow! Oh, 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 oh. Tail feathers! Ooh, that must have hurt. At least Old Brown doesn't have any reason to chase you now, hey, Nutkin? Does he, Nutkin? Nutkin? <laughs> now then, where's that book I was reading? <laughs> You're a smart rabbit, I'll give you that. I can hear you, you wee rascals! <gasps> but not smart enough. <laughs> no, open it! Do you know the other thing your father would never have done, Peter? He'd have never trusted a fox. <laughs> you lied! What can I say? I'm a fox. I confess I've always wanted to catch you, Peter, but it seems I must leave that honour to Mr. McGregor. <gasps> I imagine he'd rather enjoy you in a pie. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> Secret tunnels. I can't believe he fell for the old fox's honor line. <laughs> That's the last time you tricked me, Mr. Todd. Two can play at that game. Hmm. Yes, I'm out. Peter Rabbit. Oh, I should have known you'd get away. Mr. Todd! Help me! I'm stuck inside the tunnel! Oh, I'll help, all right. Help eat you up! What on earth? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my jacket! Oh, this is tailored, you know. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Oh, come back here! Oh, no, wait! Peter, help me! I'll do whatever you say. I should have known better than to trust a lying fox. Goodbye, Mr. Todd. I'm going home. Uh, 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 wait! Hello? Hello? an idea. Yes, I really have an actual real idea. You do? I, I, I mean, uh, of course you do. Lily, get a bunch of the canes that held up the tomato plants. Together they might be strong enough to lift the crates. How many? As many as you can carry. Right. Uh, I've got to get a pot. Uh, come on. Hey, where'd everybody go? Is this enough? Don't ask me. I've got no idea what the plan is. It's perfect. Uh, now tie them together so they're nice and strong. Ooh, I'll use one of my special knots. Mr. McGregor, hurry. Okay, now on three. One, two, three. <laughs>
out of here, Benjamin. Yep. Other way. Uh, I knew that. Let's go. <gasps> That's our way out. The cat's in the way. Benjamin? Benjamin! Everybody okay? Phew. <laughs> now that's what I call a strawberry raid. <laughs> you know, Benjamin, I wasn't sure you had it in you. But I've got to admit, you were a great leader. Well, you know what they say. Some rabbits have got it. <laughs> And all rabbits need a little help from their friends. <laughs> oh, deary me! Somebody really ought to look after that egg. Lucky I left my egg in safe hands. <laughs> patient and careful when you're exiting. Come on! <laughs> stop! Stop! Everyone, move back. Very It's my job to look after that egg. And that's what I'm going to do. Nearly there. This day just can't get any worse. Rain? Umbrella! <laughs> I take it back, Peter. You're a brilliant egg sitter. Thanks. Now, time we got this egg back. And it keeps the rain off too. Whoa! <laughs> thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what a helpful rabbit you are. Anytime, Mrs. Puddle. Duck. Anytime. Oh, that's wonderful. That's splendid. I do need one more teeny tiny little favour. Well, I... I have to run to Mrs Tiggy Winkles. If you could just look after something else for me. Um... Don't worry, Peter. I'll help just as soon as I get down. <laughs> <laughs> I know that rat got you into trouble, but that's no reason to sulk inside a log. I'm not! <gasps> Get down! Yeah, I won't rest until I find that egg. Otherwise, I don't get my sweet, cakey reward. Mm. Fresh tracks. Hmm. Sammy Whiskers isn't the only one who can be sneaky. Come on, let's follow that rat. All right, but can we go back to the party soon? We haven't even had any cake yet. Where'd she go? Whew, that Sammy Whiskers is fast for a tubby rat, isn't he? Shush, you two. Listen. Give it here. Hey, give it here. Now Mr Todd's got the egg. Oh, how amusing. <gasps> yeah. A jumping rat. Yeah, I stole that egg fair and square. It's mine. I think you'll find that if there's one cunning villain worth the name in these woods, it is I, Mr. Todd. <laughs> Hand it over! Uh, uh, 
Ow! My, my, my! Come on! <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since... since... Actually, I've never had this much fun. <laughs> <gasps> what if he drops it? It might break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take that! Oh. You dirty rat! <gasps> no! The egg! Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Lucky for you, Mr. Whiskers. I prefer hunting rabbits oh. to rats. Oh, I can't believe this! I've got to get that egg! Uh oh! Uh. <laughs> Peter's in trouble. I've got an idea. Just in case, Bucket. Just in case. Yes. Uh, Ooh, I wasn't aware this was a two-course meal. <gasps> and dessert, too. Splendid. Let's go! You can't do this to me! Quick! I'm... A tunnel! This will get us back to the egg! The most cunning... Come on! I'm in these woods! We have to get that egg before Sammy Whiskers does! There he is! <gasps> We're too late! <gasps> oh, I really don't like cats! Think of the cake, think of the cake! This is hopeless! A rat is bad enough, but a cat too? It's not over yet. Benjamin, would you do the honours? They believed I found those lost rattles, or that lost music, or this silly egg. But it was me who took them all along. Me! Samuel, Jeremiah, Bartholomew, Edmund, Cornelius, Whiskers. <laughs> and why are you all smiling? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me back my egg! Back! Ah! Um, uh, yes, well, um, um, I suppose you uh, heard all that? Yes. Yes, I'm afraid we did, Mr. Whiskers. Oh, please, s send me to my friends. Uh, no? Yeah, well, I didn't want any of your horrid party cake anyway. <gasps> You best run along, Sammy Whiskers, or you'll be feeling the sharp end of my spine, you cheeky, egg-stealing rascal! Oh, angry hedgehog! I do so like pretending to be fierce. <laughs> Terribly sorry we doubted you, Master Rabbit. Ah, uh, that's all right. That sticky rat had everyone fooled. Oh, dear! 
Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I think I'm having a duckling. Oh. 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 oh, I say we get the spring party started. So listen to the flowers sing. We celebrate the joys of spring. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah.